Are you ready for EDC Las Vegas 2024? In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 things to expect at one of the largest music festivals in North America. My name is Joe and I'm your rave tour guide. From transportation options to stage designs and everything in between, let's dive in. Shuttles and Rideshares First off, let's talk about transportation. The shuttles for EDC are incredibly convenient. Arriving early to the shuttle stop ensures you can get to the speedway early and maximize your time there. Plus, when the festival ends, hopping onto a shuttle is a breeze and nothing like it was several years ago. However, if you prefer ride shares, they are also available. Keep in mind that some drivers may cancel, but eventually you'll be assigned a driver. Ride shares are a great option for getting to the festival quickly, especially for the opening ceremonies. Just remember, we still suggest that you have a shuttle as your primary transportation method. EDC Las Vegas draws an enormous crowd with over 150,000 people attending each day. It's an awe-inspiring experience to be surrounded by so many passionate ravers. Navigating the festival grounds can be challenging, especially when crossing through crowds. Remember to stay to the right to allow smooth passage for yourself and others. One helpful tip is to use a totem to make it easy for your group to stay together and locate each other in the sea of people. Some groups can be seen linking arms or holding on to each other's bags. I prefer to use a totem so our group can just follow along. Narcan and Health Services Your safety and well-being are paramount at EDC. Narcan, a medication used to reverse opioid overdoses, is allowed and available at the festival. There's an end overdose booth where trained professionals are ready to train and educate headliners on how to administer Narcan. It's reassuring to know that such measures are in place to prioritize the health and safety of everyone in the community. Special Lands and Experiences EDC Las Vegas is renowned for its immersive environments and unique experiences. Prepare to explore special lands such as Daisy Fields, The Garden, The Rainbow Bazaar, Carnival Square, The Bamboo Area, Pixel Forest, and Nomad's Land. Each area offers its own distinct atmosphere, providing an opportunity to escape into a world of enchantment and wonder. Visual Production and Stage Designs Get ready to be face melted by the visual production at EDC. Lasers will light up the electric sky, creating a dazzling display of vibrant colors that dance in harmony with the music. The laser artists really go in at EDC and the stage designs are so dope with intricate details and giant structures that transport you to another dimension. The flames and fireworks add an extra touch of excitement and grandeur to the festival experience. We missed the drone show in 2023 and hope to see its return in 2024. Hey there, fellow raver. Are you new to the channel? If so, welcome. I'm dedicated to bringing you the very best EDC Las Vegas content. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more high quality, informative and fun EDC content. Great for first timers and seasoned ravers. Food, beverage and the cashless system. When it comes to food and beverages, be prepared for prices that might be a bit higher than usual. Budget accordingly to ensure you can enjoy the variety of offerings available. For food alone, I would budget $30 to $60 per day at the festival. It's worth noting that EDC operates on a cashless system, so be sure to have your payment options ready. There are multiple cash exchanges throughout the festival grounds to facilitate transactions smoothly. Most vendors at EDC use a handheld point of sale system that allows you to text receipts to your phone. I highly recommend selecting that option to track your spending. The names on the statement make it hard to match your spending without receipts. Popular artists and large crowds. EDC Las Vegas attracts some of the biggest names in the electronic dance music industry, and you can expect large crowds gathering at the stages for these popular artists. 
Some of the crowds extend beyond the planned dance floors and smaller VIP sections near some stages may reach capacity quickly. Plan your schedule accordingly to secure a good spot for your favorite performances. I like to arrive 30 to 45 minutes prior to the scheduled time of the artists I want to see. New and returning ravers. EDC Las Vegas is a melting pot of ravers both new and seasoned. You'll have the opportunity to meet people who are attending their first EDC, experiencing their first rave, or returning after a long hiatus. Embrace the sense of community and share your love for the music and the festival. If there's one thing you can do next year to welcome others to EDC, it is to trade candy with them. You might even have the opportunity to teach someone how to trade. Here's a short demonstration. Improvements to the festival site layout. To enhance the overall experience, EDC organizers have promised to make improvements to the festival site layout for EDC Las Vegas 2024. This will ensure a smoother flow throughout the event. You'll find an extra access point into Kinetic Field and improvements to the stages themselves. So brace yourself for an even more immersive and captivating festival atmosphere. Verizon Wireless Cell Towers. For Verizon users, good news. Verizon Wireless has installed additional cell towers to improve cell service at EDC Las Vegas. Stay connected and share your amazing experiences with friends and fellow ravers. Next year, I'm definitely going live at EDC. And there you have it. 10 things to expect at EDC Las Vegas 2024. I hope this guide has given you a glimpse into the incredible adventure that awaits. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more EDC content, and I'll see you under the electric sky.